Broncos. This is Mrs. W. Welcome to day four of Abilities Awareness Week. I hope you're all doing well. I'm excited that I get to read more of Just Ask by Sonia Sotomayor. You notice I'm in a different part of my house now. I'm in the corner of the playroom. I'm joined by Bad Kitty. And I think that's Bob, the penguin. And now we have the world map instead of just the map of the United States. So let's meet some more kids. For me, listening comes more easily than talking, and I'm a really good listener. My name is An, and I speak with a stutter, so I sometimes repeat a word or get stuck when I try to say it. It may take me a little longer to express myself, and sometimes I'm too shy to talk, but I understand everything that's going on. Do you ever wonder if people understand you? Look. Looks like she's examining that cricket. She probably has to be pretty quiet if she doesn't want the bug to jump away, huh? I do. My name is Julia. Sometimes I wiggle or make sounds that I can't control because I have Tourette syndrome. People may look at me funny because they think I'm not paying attention or just acting out, but it's not true. I am listening. I don't always like having to explain. It frustrates me, but it helps when I tell people that it's just what my body does. Do you ever feel frustrated? I think all of us have felt frustrated, like Julia. My name is Manuel, and I have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. It is also called ADHD. I can get frustrated when I really feel the need to move around, even though I'm supposed to sit still. When my teachers and friends are patient with me, if I forget something or get distracted, I can get myself back on track. What's helpful to you? I think we've all probably had times where we've been distracted and when it's been hard to listen. I know that now that we're not in classrooms anymore and everything's on a computer, sometimes it can be even more difficult to focus, can't it? Manuel, it helps him when his friends and his teachers are patient with him. And honestly, I think it helps all of us too, doesn't it? I'm Nolan. It's helpful to me when the food I eat has a clear label that said it, says it, it is nut-free because I am allergic to nuts. They can make me so sick that I would have to go to the hospital if I ate any, even by accident. So I always tell people about my allergy and ask if food has nut ingredients. Speaking up keeps me healthy. How do you use your voice? So Nolan speaks up and makes sure that everyone knows that he can't have food with nuts because it will make him very, very, very sick. So we just met four more kids who have disabilities and some of those disabilities may be different from us. But what I noticed about all the pictures is that they're also doing things that are the same, right? So there's on out in nature, looking at bugs. I've seen some of you at recess looking at bugs or gophers. Look, there's Julia. Julia, she's looking at the owl, the bird in the tree. Sometimes at bay, do you remember when the seagulls would come to the snack area and there were lots of birds to look at? And then Manuel, I know for me, sometimes I have a hard time paying attention too, so I understand. For Manuel, it's even more difficult. But look, he's actually jumping around and that's helping him spread the seeds all over the garden. And there's Nolan. Nolan is close to that squirrel. He must have been very quiet to get that close. But look, the squirrel's trying to give him a nut. And what we know is that Nolan's allergic to nuts. So he's saying no, he's speaking up for himself. It's really important for Nolan to use his voice so he can stay safe. So Bay Broncos, I hope you're enjoying this book. We have one more day of Abilities Awareness Week and one more day of the book, Just Ask. And I want you to remember, today and every day, it's great to be a Bronco. And in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Bye, Broncos.